Yo, what is going on, you goofy gibble? There were some leaked cards today. It was the Ice Rider and Shadow Rider. Cali Rex. We're going to go ahead and call it Rex V Max. I don't know how to say that name. Uh, Cresselia and a couple trainer cards. So we're going to get into it. Um, so let's get into it. Uh, the Ice Rider, not quite as good as the Shadow Rider, but we're going to go over it anyways. There is also a good trainer card that was revealed. It's basically Welder for Water Pokemon that we're going to take a look at as well. Uh, might not be the best with the Rex. Uh, the Ice Rider Rex, but it might be better with stuff like potentially even like Inteleon or something like that. So the Ice Rider uh, Rex V, 40 damage and for a water and then water, water, colorless Glacial Lance, 200 damage discard to energy from this Pokemon. So solid attacks on a V that's going to evolve into a VMAX. And we get to the VMAX with the Imperial Steed, a uh, colorless, colorless, 10 damage plus 30 for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So you could hit reasonably hard up against an turn to his VMAX, but overall it's gonna only be like maybe two hit KOing some other Pokemon, um, but maybe not even going that far. Now the Max Lance does do a reasonable amount of damage for Water Water. You may discard up to two energy cards from this Pokemon. If you do, this attack does 120 more damage for each energy discarded in this way. So you can get up to 250 damage, but it is capped at 250 damage. You can't do any more than that. You're stuck at 250 damage. So I don't really know how I feel about this one personally. Um, compared to the Shadow Rider, which we'll get to the, in a second, it's also weak to metal. So Zacian is still around, very powerful. Um, Welder decks are also very popular, but uh, ADP Zacian and like Luke Metal, Corviknight, that stuff is just as popular. And this is like, would be a good time to play a water type deck, only if your deck can also handle ADP Zacian and everything like that. But I don't think this deck can really do that. So I don't see this being very good on release. And then when rotation hits, we lose Welder. So then Fire Dex won't be very popular, probably. Uh, unless, like, the set immediately, uh, or like, our August set has a ton of fire support for fire Pokemon again, then maybe this could see some play. But I don't see this deck seeing much play, or this card seeing much play for a while, if ever. Immediately, when it releases, Zacian's still going to be popular. And then when rotation hits, Welder leaves. So Fire fire decks aren't going to be popular <clears throat> after rotation, probably. So there's really no space for this card, I don't think, in the meta. Um... But then we get down to the Shadow Rider, uh, Rex V. Uh, Psychic Energy, 10 damage. Your opponents can't play any special energy cards or stadium cards from their hand during their next turn. So that is just a ridiculously powerful attack on the V Pokemon. You go second, turn one, Shadow Mist. No special energy, no stadiums. There's a stadium coming out that they really don't want their opponents to play. Then we got Colus, 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 Astral Barrage. Put five damage counters on two of your opponent's Pokemon. So it's okay for Colos, 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 Colos to have like that sniping attack is like a nice thing, addition to just kind of have on a card. Um, but we get to the <laughs> main broken part of uh, this this review here, which is the Shadow Rider VMAX ability Hellgate. Once during your turn, you may attach a Psychic Energy card from your hand to one of your bench Psychic Pokemon, then draw two cards. Yep, that's right. You attach it. You accelerate an energy into play from your hand and then you also draw two cards so it has to be a psychic energy it has to go a psychic to a psychic bench pokemon and then you draw two cards but that's not that much of a requirement i feel like and then its attack is 10 damage it's colorless 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 10 damage plus 30 damage for each psychic energy attached to your pokemon in play that's insane oops uh so you could basically set up four of these put four extra energy in play in a turn and then you're hidden if you put five energy in play in a turn you're hitting for 160 damage which is absurd now it is weak to darkness um on the immediate release we'll have weakness card energy weakness card energy will rotate with rotation so immediately you can just play that weakness card energy to protect it from eternatus um or even other there's not really other dark pokemon spirit tomb i guess i guess spirit tomb would probably eat this thing alive if you don't play weakness card energy um but even then you have like something like the astral barrage to potentially work out against spirit tomb and you get a weakness card energy on this thing uh maybe it doesn't get one ko'd like uh, but yeah, this thing is absolutely absurd, the amount of power that's in this card. So, uh, yeah, come rotation, who knows, right? If rotation hits, turn to VMAX is still around, weakness card energy isn't there, maybe it's not as good. But immediately on release, you got weakness card energy, um, or turn to right now hasn't been seen a whole ton of play, and maybe it stays that way. Maybe a turn to stays kind of uh, not being played super uh, a ton, and... Um, this thing can just thrive in the meta. I mean, we got Urshifus that are currently weak to Psychic. I guess we do still have Jirachi GX, but even then, this being able to draw that many cards while accelerating energy and then having an attack that has unlimited damage that combos with your um, your ability to put energy in play is just kind of absurd. It's like, this card seems insane. I hope I'm wrong, and it's kind of just a little bit more balanced than it seems. Of course, there's always times where people think, think things, including myself, that are broken or not broken, that end up being not broken or actually broken. 
and uh, hopefully this is one of those where it seems ridiculously good and it's just kind of okay right maybe there's enough stuff in the meta maybe you can't ramp out as well as it seems um and it's just kind of as good as some other cards but hold up let's get to some more of the cards gets a little bit more powerful as we read further Griselia, i have no idea what it does so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it right now uh crescent growth search your deck for a psychic energy and attach it to one of your pokemon then shuffle your deck if you go second on your first turn you may attach three psychic energy to one of your pokemon instead okay that's pretty good actually you can play this in this uh <laughs> in the rex v max deck and then you go it's just like flare starter i guess go second three extra psychic energy in play so it sounds like you'll be playing a couple of these alongside your rex v maxes shadow rider rex v max um all right melanie attach this is basically the water welder attach a water energy from your discard pile to one of your pokemon v then draw three cards so it's only one energy and it has to be from the discard pile but that's almost a little bit better than welder at times or especially as you get further into the game this is much better than welder um you draw three cards still you only get one energy and like i said this card doesn't seem too ridiculously powerful right now only 250 damage on the second attack um not feeling it too much but i could see this being played in something like an Intellion v max deck or even um yeah Intellion v max or i'm trying to think of the other water v max Intellion v max <laughs> Intellion v max is probably what you see it be played in so yeah i guess he's being played in like Intellion v max or something like that and uh, maybe you don't play frostmoth anymore and you accelerate through melanie um which would be pretty cool on it to be honest if you go turn one attach and you go turn two melanie plus attach or even if you go second you go turn on attach melanie next turn melanie attach and you just kind of use melanie from there so intelligent could kind of thrive without frost moths potentially which would be really cool to see so that could be really cool i don't think it works out like i said i don't think it works out as great with the ice rider but uh with uh Inteleon, i could see it actually being pretty good yeah the metal weakness is just a little bit too much i think all right fog crystal you may search your deck for either a basic psychic pokemon or or psychic energy reveal it put it in your hand then shuffle your deck one of those cards that's going to combo with that's uh shadow rider v max that's kind of insane that's like it's basically a reprint of nest ball um nest ball was a net ball net ball net ball search your deck for a grass energy or a basic grass pokemon but for psychic pokemon and when you're printing a super powerful psychic pokemon that wants to find their basics and then wants to find energy uh it's gonna be played so this is 100 percent gonna be played in the rex v max deck and it seems just super good card just super good card <laughs> any card with like two very good uses in it um like this um for like basically no drawback is always gonna be pretty good we didn't see a whole ton of uh nest netball being used when it was legal but that's because grass pokemon in general weren't very good and i guess we could see the same thing with the rex v max we're just gonna have to wait and see okay so one thing that might keep the rex v max in check is this path to the peak each player's pokemon in play with a rule box has no abilities so basically power plant for rule box pokemon um which means it covers everything um anything without a rule box can still be utilized though um so this will shut down their ability that's what i was thinking the shadow mist actually is quite a big deal it's like you go second turn one shadow mist you stop them from putting the stadium in play and then you get to go ahead um and you know use your abilities at least for one turn but this is super cool i'm super glad they printed this stadium i think it's a really good stadium to be printed i think it'll force a lot of decks to play more stadiums i think stadiums are and with swell currently in the format um it won't be as good i don't think but once rotation hits i think this card will really take off and be a super powerful force a lot of decks will play it and then all the other decks are gonna have to play counter stadiums and then when the when there's two decks that go up against each other that don't play path to the peak they'll have their stadiums to kind of have like a stadium war against each other as well so i think this card is super cool and super happy to see them print it i think it definitely promotes uh, a lot of play around stadiums which has been a little bit eh lately because the two stadiums that we only really see being played right now are swell and hearth because hearth is so good and swell is really good at countering hearth and that's basically it you see for stadium sometimes you see training court but it's like not a huge impact on the game like the other two are um, and with swell still in the format i have a feeling this won't be as good but once rotation hits um we'll definitely see a ton of play out of this card i think i think it'll be played a lot this, this stadium will be played right when it hits but it won't be uh it won't have the same impact because swell is still in the format but once rotation hits we lose swell this card is going to take off for sure um, and then we've got Old Cemetery, which is whenever a player attaches an energy from their hand to one of their Pokemon, excluding Psychic Pokemon, put two damage counters on that Pokemon. So already, um, also the Shadow Rider, they already have a great stadium to play to counter the path to the peak stadium in this Old Cemetery. So this thing is getting an insane amount of support in this one set. Uh, it's scary. I hope it's not as good as it seems, but it seems like it's going to be pretty busted. But we're going to have to wait and see for sure because it's got this. You got the Cresselia. You got the, the Fog Crystal. 
and you have the old cemetery which basically is like hmm, what was i going to play as a stadium and actually you might play swell initially anyways i think because swell is going to keep this out of play uh more aggressively which is what you probably want um so you probably won't play old cemetery until rotation once rotation hits you'll probably play the older uh the old cemetery but for immediate release you're probably going to be playing swells in the shadow rider deck but uh yeah this card seems insanely broken the other one the ice rider and eh, not really it's, it seems okay <laughs> not really it's weak to metal and then when rotation hits we lose welder so our fire deck's even gonna exist don't know right but this seems like a consistently powerful card irrelevant of typing um, the only thing is it does it is weak to dark currently we have weakness guard energy when rotation hits we'll lose it will that make a difference we'll have to find out but yeah this card's insane i hope it's not as good as it seems like i was saying um but yeah those are the cards that were leaked Took a look at them all we'll see man this is supposed to come out in uh june the june set i believe so we're not too far away from that two or three months and then we'll see if uh shadow rider kind of takes over the format or not i hope not but you never know and uh yeah see you guys tomorrow